Ties, David here with Future Straight, and I want to welcome my newest subscriber. Thank you for joining as well, uh, Carlos. I appreciate the comment there. Uh, thank you so much, my friend, for the uh, for the comment. Thank you so much. I'm glad that you're interacting. And yes, I do provide analysis. I do. Uh, the NQ, you're going to want to, uh, again, just try to use the trend uh, for your distance. Now, I'm going to give you a little bit more information in this video because you took the time to uh, interact. So I want to make sure that you're able to see the chart really objectively. But the trend distance is really what you're going to end up with at the end of the day. All right. So first, you're going to want to make sure that you got a trend and it can happen in both directions. All right. So uh, you're going to want to get seven bars higher than the prior. OK, so the first one is here. Uh, second, third, fourth, uh, fifth. And there's your six and there's your seventh one. All right. So once you get that distance, well, the trend, you're going to get the distance. That's what you're going after. OK, this is your income. This is your paycheck. And so every time you see that trend set up, uh, go ahead and shoot for at least that on an intraday basis. That's what you're going to always shoot for. And it doesn't matter the time frame. So no matter what time frame you're trading, uh, that's what you're after. Again, this is all about universal approach. Uh, so much so let me show it to you here. All right. So. I don't know if you had a chance to uh, look at the alert that I did on yesterday with the currency pairs, uh, but it repeats itself even here. All right. Now, let's take a look at this real quick. This is the pound Aussie. This is the Aussie USD, the euro, uh, the pound USD. We got the New Zealand. It's going to constantly show up. And it, again, this one haven't actually moved. Well, it did. It did make that distance from this this uh this trend down here, they got stuck in this area, but it didn't make that distance and it should continue down. You have the trend distance there. You have the trend distance there. And again, I covered this market yesterday. All right. And that's for the FOMC. So yes, it will constantly show up. What I'm showing you right here is universal and it'll apply to any market. Now I'm going to tell you some other information about uh, this, this chart. I am. I'm going to tell you some more stuff that you can know uh, for today. Uh, that's a little outside the scope of what I offer on YouTube, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the time out to give you some information. I appreciate the comment. Here's the center of the chart. Clearly, I want you to use this scale as well. And so when you, you know, get in that distance, combine that with the chart scale. I don't know if you're familiar with that method, uh, but again, that's on the channel as well. You're going to want to make sure that, that you do that. You know, you're going to want to make sure that you combine the scale, which is just half of the chart and it doesn't move. And that's the thing I want you to know. This, the center of the chart, you don't want that moving, even though the scale adjusts. Uh, keep your, your eye focused on the center and then divide that upper half or the lower half for that matter. Now, when you go with the universal trend and use the universal chart scale, uh, the you know, you'll notice that these things should pretty much line up to one another. And then after it gets to the trend, this other part, I have, you know, after it makes the trend distance, it typically will cycle on you. You know, most of the time it'll cycle back. It'll turn around. So just try to try to keep in mind of that as well. I right? just want you to keep that keep that in mind. But for today, for today, because on the daily and let me let me get my daily chart here for you. We're trying to go. Uh, and get that trend distance on that daily. I covered this uh, just a couple of days ago. I said I wasn't going to come back until they get here, but I, I have to come back when you inquire. I have to do that because it's important that you you understand what, what I'm trying to do here. I want to make sure that this information get as far as possible. And I, I believe that, again, if it's, if it's useful to you, I'm sure you're willing to share it. So uh, we're trying to get this this trend distance here. This is where they're, they're he headed. And all I'm doing is measuring the same thing I just showed you on that that one, that one minute chart. I'm doing it on the daily. Here's that distance. Uh, they kind of kind of pause right here before making the trend bar. But we're going to go right with the middle of that trend bar and project it forward. All right. Now, let's see if we can get down to uh, 14.5. Now, of course, on an intraday basis, that's not as relative. But I do want you to keep in mind where we're headed. All right. So while getting there, while getting there, let me give you some information here to go with. We want to see if the daily, <laughs> we want to see if the daily, if it's going to go up, you know, which I doubt it will. Uh, but if they're going to fight you, and when I say they, the, you know, the sellers, if they're going to step in and, and hit the gas to get this market down, uh, here's a little bit more information for you. They're going to fight you right here. You know, now I know I got a couple targets above this market, you know, well, above the 6150. There's a couple targets up here. All right. Uh, and you got one at 15,14175 and one at 15,18450. Uh, uh, should this market want to push up above uh, 61 today, uh, they're going to want to try to hit these targets. 
All right, they're going to want to try to do that. If not, if not, the closer <laughs> that they get to this 61, uh, sellers will probably step in and force this market down. You know, and of course, this is the target for the short side. All right, so 14, 7, 80, 89 and a quarter. So that's what you're looking like for today. Uh, you're going to want to try to get here because I believe we, we may continue down a bit more. I do. I don't suspect that we're going to, you know, we're going to stay up at this point. I don't. And so I think we will get a, a further decline. I do. Uh, and so that's what you got. I, now, again, if they do want to get get up, this is what you're looking at maybe for tomorrow. So if it if it don't happen today, I'll come back and cover it. Uh, should we get to either, you know, should we get up here or get here? I'll come back and cover it. But I want you to keep your eye out for it. But on the way, on the way for the intraday basis, make sure that you're counting, you know, make sure that you're counting that seven. All right. So once you see that seven show up, typically they'll lean back half of that trend and then they'll go that distance. All right. Typically they'll do that. You see how they set that trend here and then they pulled up half that trend and then they gave you that distance. So just try to keep that in mind. All right. So I wish you all the best with your trading. Take care.